Hopefully everything else works out well. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so let's All take right. a look. So, yeah, so it's been a little while. So let's see. We've got... Um, so last time we were trying to do data cleaning, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and we got... We got to... We got it to produce like the JSON. Uh, we got it to like give like the reasoning and like the notes. So I think all of that in terms of the data cleaning was pretty good. Um, I think. So I so either we, I don't know what else there was we wanted to do with data cleaning. I didn't cross it off. Maybe I just forgot to. But we could either if we if you remember what else we want to do with data cleaning, we could do the one last thing, and then we can maybe move to mock data generation. Because we didn't do that one mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. Um, I, data cleaning. I think I'm pretty happy so far with the cleaning. Uh, yeah, well, so we only did what, like, name and address, right? We, um, mm-hmm. so, so, oh, oh, I know what the one thing uh, we, we could do with data cleaning. Okay. So let's take a look at this thing again. Um, what I noticed is that we have uh, we have data sets where in the same file, the date of birth will be in two different formats in mm. the same file from the same vendor. Mm-hmm. Um, and it like completely messes it up, like the, 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 the date the, the date of birth parsing. Hmm. Right. Um, I see. So let's give that a try with. Uh, wait, I. So let's just yeah. So let's give it a try with. I'll add date of birth here. Up on it. We don't need that. Ha ha ha. Oh, not signed in. I haven't. I haven't done this in so long. I'm not even signed in. <laughs> I'm not even signed into anything. Oh man. Do I need to do this off stream? I forget. <laughs> Maybe I will. Yeah, you can. I was like, I was like what, <laughs> what do I actually need to do on, on this? <laughs> Logging. Just so in case. You may want to turn off. Yeah. I have, um, and then I have to do the two factor thing as well, and it's just like ah. Yeah. Oh, you right. do have the two factor off. Yeah, I have to like two factor off into GitHub. And I don't mm-hmm. remember. All right. Are you still streaming or no? Okay. I think so. I think I'm still streaming. I didn't turn oh. it off. <laughs> I, I I just moved. Ah. I, I just moved my my screen away. There we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we're back. So if we do um, DOB uh, Oh, no, no. Actually, so maybe we want uh, So maybe we want DOB year, right? Uh-huh. And then, because uh, because then we can have it like parse, uh, like what we what what it thinks is the correct, the correct parts, month, year, okay. day, oh, day. Okay. Um. And so let's do let's just do one name, I guess, right now. All right, and then let's oh, put uh-huh. in. Uh, mm-hmm. Just the random. I think I should be able to get mm-hmm. this. This this doesn't sound too hard. Mm-hmm. Too hard, so. yeah. Let's give this a try.
Okay. Okay, so it does... Oh, you don't have any reasoning. So it has lots of reasoning. It looks at the date of birth. It figures out the format. Okay, so no middle name. There we go. Month day. Oh, postal code. Is wait, where did that come six, from? Zero. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Wait, wait, did we put postal code? No. Uh, oh, wait, no. It ah, so it grabs that. that. The, it hallucinated us. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it definitely hallucinated. He really wants that. to pull it in. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, I also, oh, you know what I should have done? I really should have done uh, something like uh, name, address, DOB. Oh, yeah, because if we put it afterwards, it could be some kind of zip code plus something. And then, yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, and while we're here, let's, so let's just, I mean, this, this shouldn't be too hard, but I'm going to flip it. Because I think this is also pretty reasonable. So if we flip the, Okay. Got it. Uh, but actually, no. It, it put Williams, Williams in the middle oh. name. Oh. Hmm. Right, but it did get the the date uh the date correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but I put Williams in the in the as a middle name, which is like. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. Maybe we should regen. Hmm regenerate it and see if it will do it again because the first time it didn't the first time we put william smith as a uh as one hyphenated mm -hmm. name ah uh, see it thinks the name format is first middle dash last mm. oh okay which is mm. which is a reasonable no, assumption mm -hmm. but yeah but it's, yeah, I mean, I guess it's possible. I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> what if we put D-O-D instead of D-O-B? Would it... What do you mean? You know, I, I hope it doesn't... Because a... Uh... Oh, sorry, in the input, we put D-O-D instead of D-O-B. <laughs> Oh, just to, just as a, like a mistake. You want to yeah. see like, if it? If it like, I wonder. Okay. Yeah, mistake. Yeah, oh, I wonder okay. if it can. If it still tries to, you know, grab that string. Oh, maybe right. Like it might. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Look, it just assumes. Oh, oh, good! Date birthday! Oh, date of birth! Because I was so just date of birth. Oh. Okay. So it assumes that, so let's see if it does it. Yeah, it does it. Month, year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the other one I wanted to try, uh, so very similar to this. So what we've seen is that um, the uh, they don't have the day. So the vendor doesn't know the day, so they give us zero zero, um, and it messes with our parser because our parser doesn't know what to do with the zero zero. So I want to. I wonder mm -hmm. what 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 minstrel is gonna do with the zero zero. Uh, maybe we should fix the DOD. <laughs> oh look, it did. It. Oh zero zero. Yeah. Not a valid date of month. <laughs> but it's still but even though it's not valid, it still did it, right? Like it it, it still mm -hmm. identified that like zero zero is like the day and everything mm -hmm. else. Because everything else makes sense as like month and year. Right? Mm -hmm. So so what if what if it were the other way around? What if it were uh DOB? 
<laughs> no, like, um, uh, let's just go change it to this, and maybe I, I will change it back to DOB, because I, I don't think that's pretty useless. So I think, I, I think we've also seen this, where it's like month, day, but the day is zero, zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says big month year. Oh, no. Oh, ah. one. Okay. I don't like that. See, that's no good to me. Does it I... say why? Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, does it say why? Yeah. Uh... Hmm. No, it just says that we can split it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say hmm. why. Okay. So, like, I, I know a lot hmm. of other systems will do this, right? They're just like, we don't know the day, so we'll just pick the first. Right? I don't yeah. know. What, what, what yeah. do you think is better? Like, should we actually have zero? Should we have null, actually, instead of zero, zero? Yeah. I'd prefer null. I don't know. Yeah. But, but zero, zero, yeah, I feel like that's easy after... You know, like you can kind of validate it or something like, but if it's one, then you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll just take it as one. But the raw data doesn't say one. Exactly. <laughs> well, no. So the, like, the, well, the problem with zero zero is that if your field, if your birth date is a date field, it won't let you put that in, right? Oh, uh, no. Uh, e no. No. Well, well, if if your field type is like a date type and it's a DOB, is that say it's like a DOB? It's a date type, then it it just won't take it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I mean, think that's the trade off, right? Yeah. I th mm. I'm pretty sure that's why people will just do the first if they don't have One. a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, some data is... sets are like that. They need to make yeah. They just kind of inference or something. They just, you know, yeah, leave. Uh, Fill in the blanks, too. Yeah, but I agree with you. Like, I, I don't like I don't like the fact that like they just put in one because now we have that mm -hmm. data skew where where like the distribution of like of date of of day of birth is like heavily leans towards like one. Yeah. Like, first day of the month. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can not tell. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no like easy way saw... to handle yeah. on the database side. Mm-hmm. Is there is there any database that allows a date to have a zero zero day? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Right, because a date is like they they basically like like indexed it to like a, a, an integer. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Zero, zero, that's probably because, yeah, they store as a string, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what, what do you well, think we, we should do then? Should we, should we just do DOB? Yeah, we, we could just, just do DOB. Yeah. Yeah, if we just do DOB without having it parsed. And then we say, hey, can you do it in an ISO format? I wonder if... Uh, I, I guess that maybe it would just like skip the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hmm. well. Yeah, I, I think that's, that was the one thing. I, I don't see a lot. So like I, the, 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 uh, the date of birth thing might actually be a, a different problem than we're, we're trying to solve. Because I think like the problem fundamentally is that like you know, for for good sort of data engineering practices, we want to have a date field, right? And it's mm -hmm. like a lot of times it's redundant to have the the pieces, the date parts, like year, month, day, right? Because now you have three fields instead of one. Yeah. And then like, but if you don't if you don't do three fields and all you have is, uh, because like so you're nothing. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah. And then, because, like, that's obviously better. And I say sometimes all you have is a year, even. You don't even have a month. Mm -hmm. 
right? Yeah. So like, or, or, or rather, um, for like certain business logic, all you need is the year. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah, I don't know what, what, what we yeah. would do about that. But okay. Well, mm-hmm. it's something to think about because mm-hmm. I, I feel like, because I think the other side of this is, um, so, so with date of birth, there's like, you know, there, there's usually, you know, the day, but with other dates, I think like date of death, like you might not know that the, the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, so uh, yeah. Hmm. But that's okay. I wonder if we have to change something in the prompt to say that it has to be a like zero zero is not real or something like that. <laughs> you know, like I don't. I wonder if I have to give more hints to get the the behavior we desire. I don't know. Well, well, well. Let's talk about what is that that desired behavior. So, 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 do you think that we should have null, or do you think we should have zero zero? I think null. Uh, think to null me, better, to right? null. Yeah. I, I guess, guess if we are explicit and say zero zero, you know, invalid. Uh, date parts should be null or something like that. I I don't know if they. Yeah, we could be explicit about that and see what happens. Let's see. Uh, from mm-hmm. your answer. Uh, oh, we could just... Maybe we first try and be a little more generic to see what happens. So, if mm-hmm. any uh, data is missing... Um, use... Should we say use null? to oh, we'll just say uh, if... use uh, or uh, you fill the, no. the value with no yeah or invalid or okay or invalid I guess I okay. guess yeah let's give that a try mm. oh and we want to do zero zero yeah zero zero okay mm-hmm Ooh, it will have a tough job knowing if zero zero is <laughs> month or day. But we'll see. Oh wait, 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 wait! Did I do something ambiguous? Uh, zero 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 six. Oh, oh yeah, th- oh, that uh, is ambiguous, right? Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, so that. Yeah. I mean, well, before because before I put it in, like a human looking at that, I would have assumed that's month. That it's it's day, mm-hmm. month, year, because you're more likely to have a known month than a known day, but you don't know the month. Mm, mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I wonder what it, what it does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see its reasoning. Seems to be the wrong format. I was assuming meant to be date of birth. Oh, I forgot to change DOD. <laughs> mm-hmm. Since the day of the month varies are missing, I'll set them to null. Ooh. Uh huh. Oh, the day and month are missing. Both. Okay. Oh, okay. So you just assume day and month are missing? Mm. Oh, look at this. It added. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. So do you think it was, well, let's, let's regenerate this. So do you think it's because of the zero, 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 six that like messed that up? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It seems to. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Uh... oh, 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 that behaves differently. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, zero, time... zero. I thought we asked for no, but. I... Right. But uh, the first time it maybe... did it, the second time it didn't. Right. Yeah. Actually, so I, I should <laughs> okay. maybe fix the. Okay, let's let's fix this just so that it's not not doing the same uh, date of birth thing. Oh, why is this? Uh, 
Okay, let's try that again. Mm-hmm. I don't know the date of death thing is throwing it off. Because last time it was. Mm. Oh, this time. Okay. So oh. it's meant to be month on day day. There's four digits. Oh. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I was like, what? Four digits? Of two. <laughs> Okay, but it, it seems uh, to come up with a reasonable. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. This is actually so. so this is the first time we've seen this behavior of the last name. Um, mm-hmm. but it's kind of interesting because for people with like hyphenated last names. Right, like, like where they, like, you know, like, Smith gets married and doesn't want to be Williams, so that, so they decide that they want to be William Smith, right? Mm-hmm. In that scenario, if we actually had the last names as arrays, it, it actually might be better for like matching. Mm-hmm. Because then, like, yeah, it's not bad. Because then their maiden name is there and. And, and like and like colloquially like if like you know like people will say like you know how like um on a uh let's say like on a, on a wedding card right people mm-hmm. will automatically just assume mr and mrs smith mm-hmm. right they just kind of they just like assume that like you guys are you're changing your name right mm-hmm. uh, when they might mm-hmm. not be uh so mm-hmm. yeah this is the first time i think we've seen this yeah, yeah I, I, we didn't ask it to, so yeah. but I don't know if I would want it to do that. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, so this is what I was saying before, right? So like month, it's I feel like it just assumed that it was a certain format, right? Mhm. So, okay, what if we do? What if we make it more obvious that this is? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, a day. Oh. No, no, that that is very obvious, right? Like, or no, if we do, oh. if we do this way, do you think that's more obvious? Oh. So it's month day. Oh, I, oh, oh, more than twelve, right? Thirteen, then it can't be the month. No, 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 but 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 we want it to be the month. Like we want it to be month that we know. We don't know the day. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know, like uh, some countries, they have like the reverse, like month on day day, and or day day month month. So, I, I don't know if like you know, like a generated again, it would just like flip flop. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mm-hmm. don't know like what, cause like it it defaulted to. Hold on a second. What did it default to? It defaulted no. to month day year. You see what I mean? Like, it looked at this and said month, day, year. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think that the problem is that, like, it's true that most countries, actually, 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 I think most countries use day, month, year. It's just the U.S. and Canada mm-hmm. that does month, day, year. Mm-hmm. Right? But, but, like, but I think, like, because of, like, most of the training data, it is like very US centric. I think this is the, probably the more mm-hmm. common format that, that it was trained on. Well, let's mm-hmm. give this a try and see what happens. Okay, so, so it still assumes month, day, year. So it's the month contains three digits. What? <laughs> It's just what? <laughs> well, last time three digits, like a four digits. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. Uh, okay, so it did this again. Oh, and... but then it says that, but then the DOB day is twelve. <laughs> what? Oh man, that's awful. It's just like it's incons. It's not really consistent. Or something. Yeah, I guess it's um... not good at that. It's not good at uh. It's not good at identifying uh, the zero zero. So well, I mean, the first time we tried it, it was good, but it doesn't seem like it's actually that good. 
Ja, het laat lekker naar de... Zo. Nou, het is nul. Ja, nou het is nul. But but it's both nul. Mm -hmm. Right, as opposed to... Wait, did they give a reasoning? No, it just says the values are missing. Yeah. I, I, it does seem to me like probably some dates are easier than others, right? Like 0, 6, 15. Then it'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, 15 is a day. It seems mm -hmm. like the 0, you know, makes it... You know, yeah, and the 12 is an ambiguous... I mean, it yes, it's ambiguous, but it's not like uh. Well, so 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 the reason why I'm getting really caught up on it is because like, it's ambiguous, but still a human can still make a a, a good judgment call on it. So that's why I figured that like maybe the LLM would, but maybe I just have too high expectations for it. Hmm. All right, did you get the oh, right June first. The DOB is... No! Uh, June 1st. No! Hey, this is constant the reasoning. <laughs> yeah. But, but otherwise, no. Yeah. That's, that's kind of disappointing, yeah. but oh well. I guess I guess it, it really can't handle the zero zeros, huh? Hmm. No. So. Yeah, we may have to be like, or I don't know, maybe we have to be pretty explicit about what format uh, is expected or something. I don't know. It seems like we need to help it if we want it to, you know, parse it that way. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Oh, actually, the other format we didn't try. So we didn't try... Uh... I'm just going to do it in here. We didn't try uh, year, month, day. Mm. I believe, yeah, we usually get it. Think about the most, the most two common formats are usually year first or year last, right? So like... Mm -hmm. And, and then when it, when year is first, it's always year, month, day, right? We never month. see year, day, day month. month. No, right? I don't think we ever yeah. see that. No, yeah. We don't. Okay, so let's see. Ah, no, they didn't. Uh, one. I put it one. Uh... Huh. Even though it says any missing or invalid data will be filled in with nulls, it didn't do it. <laughs> What's assumed to be okay? Well, <laughs> provided a uh, note. Uh, <laughs> I almost, I was like, this is really, I don't know, like, I don't know how to feel about this, right? It's like, yeah, it knows what it should do or something, but it should also be filled with null. Like, well, why don't you do it? <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh, it's, it's like, it's like the, it's, I think this is not the first time where we've like, where like, it like knows what it should do and it, and it like says it, but it still doesn't do it. Right. I think this has happened before. Yeah. Maybe it's paying attention. Like, well, no. It's like a, as it, it writes, it's like oh, it should also be null, but he didn't do it. <laughs> it's like oh, oh wait, yeah, actually, I should be filling it with null. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Okay. Huh. It remembered, you know. <laughs> it, it remembered. <laughs> it's like it's very human too, right? <laughs> Maybe you, you think that's what it does? Huh. Yeah. Right. Or you'll be fired. I like. <laughs> <laughs> we we did add that, right? Yeah, we did. Oh, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the default now. We have this as the, like the last sentence now by default. So, oh well. Okay. All right. Um, is that it for data cleaning? Do we want to cross that off? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're. 
pretty good. I think we hit some Marcus pretty check. ambiguous stuff. <laughs> uh, I forgot there's a check mark. Right? I've been I've been using the. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's let's try doing mock data. So, for mock data, let's maybe copy the most of this prompt, right? So for mock data, let's do uh, your data engineer that's tasked with uh, generating uh, realistic data for a test environment. Uh, given, okay, so given, oh, given a schema, you will fill in all the values with uh, realistic data. You output the data in JSON, provide, do we need to do this actually? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll leave this here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Reasoning. Should we still have it provide nulls? Oh, oh this is probably, uh, maybe because it is okay to have, uh, Maybe not for now, I guess, right? Like, uh. Yeah, let's not do this. I think last time we tried yeah. to like ask it to like, hey, like sometimes don't give a middle name and it was really bad at it. Right? Mm hmm Okay, and I'm gonna say, uh, here is, here is the schema. Let's see if it can do mock data generation. <laughs> it's kind of funny how like, yeah, like the reasoning. <laughs> Available data sources. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. So we got Michael John Smith, uh, or Michael John Michael Smith, nicknamed Johnny. Okay. Year, month, day, address, any town, California. Oh, it has another one. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Oh, did we ask to generate multiple? No, I, I, oh, I didn't ask it to generate multiple. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, uh, I mean, this is interesting, right? How, how it generated the nickname. Yeah. I mean, it says it did this, but it didn't, this, it, it doesn't actually randomly sample. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny how, how like it says it will randomly sample, but it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, but what I do find interesting though is that like, well, actually, they just did John and hmm, maybe this is actually not as good as I think it is, but it's hard to tell, right? So like Jane and Janie, Janie's not a common nickname for Jane. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I would rather have no. this be Null. Or just yeah. J. It maybe. Uh huh. Jamie, yeah. Yeah, and it didn't actually create a realistic city with the with the real zip code for it. Hmm. 
did they even prompt that? Did we say mock data or we did say realistic data, uh, right? Let's double check. Okay, yeah, you're generating realistic data for a test environment. Do you think um, I should say real data is the realistic? Do you think that's the difference? Oh yeah, maybe real data. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because. Yeah, maybe yes. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. It's funny how like when you want it to hallucinate, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's, so now he's gonna use a name generator API. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's so like. I can generator library. <laughs> this is like this is like one of those things where like. I don't understand like why it's saying this, right? Because it obviously doesn't use an API. Like it doesn't call, it doesn't have any function calling. It can't do any of that, but it still says that it's going to. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, all right, so here. <laughs> uh. Oh, again. Okay, this time it had New York. Oh, yeah. So this time it did this one correctly. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is good. And, yeah, this is pretty good. Right? That's that. That's mm -hmm. invalid. And did it get lost? Oh yeah, and it got and, and it did this correctly too. Mm -hmm. So this time it did much better. Yeah, real data. Because you said. Yeah, just because you said real instead of realistic. Mm-hmm. You know what? Maybe we should play off of it's like uh, so so so, okay. So for some reason, right? It it keeps like referring to like, hey, I'm gonna make, you know, API calls, right? Even though it can't. Um, should we actually instead of saying things like you don't have access to the internet, should we actually just say that, like tell it that use it does have access? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Use a random. Because right. it actually doesn't, so yeah. Even though, it, even though it can't, but should we just say that it can, just to see, like, what it would do? <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see, you are... But it's always like the so... <laughs> Okay, uh, you have access to the internet uh, and any APIs. Okay, <laughs> just... Just say that, right? And then we, we'll see about what it does. You know you're on mute, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My oh. friend was leaving. So I'm just... Oh, okay. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> uh... okay. Okay. All right. Let's, let's give this a try. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'll use a combination of APIs and data from the internet. Uh, again, yeah, it really likes APIs, yeah. For data privacy laws. <laughs> sure, sure, <yeah. laughs> okay, so let's see. All right, so we've got John Michael Doe uh, this time. Uh, but only oh, any town can Not that real. Yeah. yeah, and then... Oh, we got Janie again. Huh. Can you tell? I like the other one better. Yeah. Yeah, right? Well, the let's real data. Yeah. Let's try regen. Well, no, this one will still said real data, right? I didn't delete that. We just added the, well, you have that. access to the, uh, to the internet. This was the internet. only line we added. Mm -hmm. But let's try if it regenerate. Oh, look. Oh, the regeneration oh. was, was oh. better. Yeah, Springfield. Huh. And Jamie. Uh -huh. Do you find it that it's better when it does the JSON block? <laughs> it seems like it. it seems like you know it's nervous <laughs> 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 trying to perform. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Look, the birthdays are set between 18 and 65 years old. We never actually thought about that. We never thought about like, hey, like, give like a birthday for like, you know, one has to be somebody above 18, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and we don't want somebody too old because you don't know if they're yeah. actually going to be alive or not. We never, we never actually considered those two, those two things. Yeah. But it yeah, I wonder that. if we give it, yeah. I wonder if we give it, it would be, you know, more realistic, you know, all the time, all, more, you know, more like real data, you know, the more parameters we give. Kind of like, oh, it has to be a U.S. address. Like, I don't know, it has to be a New York ad address or something. Yeah. Oh, wait, do you mean in the prompt or in the, the schema? In the prompt. Yeah. Well, oh, in well, the prompt. That, so, 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 so yeah. I think there's, there's two sides to that, right? If we want to do mock data generation and we say, oh, only give a New York address, then that means that, like, your your schema is only your or your mock data is just going to have one distribution mm -hmm. yeah Which yeah is or nice. u.s address or something like that yeah i was thinking throwing it more keywords would make it would make any town you know less likely to appear because any town's like it is you know fictional right it's not really u.s oh, okay. per se mm -hmm. uh Real data, real place, <laughs> real date. <laughs> so if we just want to get rid of, because like sometimes it doesn't do any town and sometimes it does, right? Mm -hmm. So like. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, lat long. Can we have a lat long and see if oh. you know, any town will be I don't know if like you know just giving it more you know making it flush flushing it out would. You're right. I think it, it will, I think I think that's right. You are. I think you're you're hundred percent right about that. So let's do. No, let's see. Address. Um, Geo. I think you're right. If we ask it for for that long, I think it will give us huh. a, a more realistic. Uh, and I'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of curious too if the lat long is somewhat realistic. You know, like uh, it's consistent with as uh, address. Yeah. Oh yeah, it might be. We'll also see, know. right? That'd be interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Wait, is it this? Is it actually? coding API. <laughs> is there an actual oh, API that random works? Really is this an actual cool. website? I don't know, but Google uh, Maps feels like I, I don't know if I want to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> it has a Google Google coding API. Like, okay. Yeah, that means it's not uh, that's my API usage limits. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see how it does. No, let's see. Oh, no, it still gives us any town. Where is that? <laughs> I mean, that's a good question, right? Like, wh where is this? Is that Disneyland? Or... <laughs> is this a... Uh... Huh? Wait, what is this? <laughs> it's in New York. Oh, wait, is that, wait, isn't that is the, the Statue of Liberty? Alice Allen? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, Statue of Liberty, yeah. What? But it didn't, it, <laughs> so it gave, it gave a lot long, but it, it didn't make this. A state, state. Oh. It's missing a state too. Oh yeah, missing state. Other city, town. state. And they gave the same lat long. Other town. Okay. Do you think it's because we just have? Because last time we did. Um, 
what is it a uh, street right with its street address yeah city city a postal city. or something yeah yeah so let's let's maybe give that a try right so city state uh and uh zip wait was it did i miss something else oh well, city okay. oh sorry city Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll try that. Well, at least he's responding in the JSON again. Mm hmm. Huh, that's interesting. This nickname is interesting. Mm. Oh, it's still the no, same still level. Gives huh? any town. Is it... Oh, this oh. is the other one I gave Springfield, Illinois. Oh, let's check out. Oh. This is. Oh, yeah. Where is, where is this one? Illinois. Uh, uh, how do I change? How do I change? Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess in the link, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we should have had a more obvious place. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, huh? Where is this? Is this actually Springfield, Illinois? Oh, it is! Hey! Well, no, I know. It's a Wait. Springfield. I don't know which, what? which Springfield it's in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh and near it Chicago. Is, it is Illinois. Uh, it's not bad. So right. it did. It did pick. It did pick Springfield, Illinois, and it, it did give a zip for it. So so, so the second yeah. time it did okay. But but this time it didn't. This one it didn't. It got New this York, one but is... still. Yeah. Any town you New York, okay. I mean, but but the zip code's not right, right? And like everything else is. Mm -hmm. New York. But the yeah. fact that it got this one correct the second time, which which really makes me, I, I'm just I'm gonna regenerate this and see what happens, uh -huh. because like usually when it like generates something wrong the first time, it kind of just like repeats yeah. it the second time. So I'm really surprised uh -huh. that like it got it the second time and not the first time. Uh huh. Oh, 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 I see what you mean, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this helps. You know how, like, we ask you to put reasoning block in a notes block? I wonder if this helps it. Hmm. Oh, we've got a third person this uh, time. Uh, see, look, see? Oh. So this is what I was saying about, like, when it does it incorrectly the first time, it just continues it. So it says, anytime California, anytime California, anytime California. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, like that. Right? Yeah. And it's the same lat long. Actually, let, all right, let's go see if this is actually in California. Hmm. The zip code is wrong, right? Because one, two, three, four, five. Well, the zip code, yeah, we'll the zip code is definitely wrong. But I don't wrong, know. Yeah. I don't know where this is. Yeah. We don't. I don't look enough lat longs <laughs> to know yeah. where, where. I don't know it? either. Is this a uh, civic center? It's, San Francisco? Uh, San Francisco. Uh -huh. Oh, well, it is kind of California. Uh, it is. Uh, it's just a zip code, but lat longs fits. Yeah. But it I really likes the handy town. Yeah. 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 So, so, so. It's hard to get get away from the city, but but when it picks it's hard the state, to get away from any town. Yeah. yeah, but but when it picks a state, it does get the right that long for that state. That long, yeah, it seems to be consistent with that. Yeah, maybe okay. So so let me double check the prompt thing. Uh, so we actually don't say anything about about the address. Like we don't tell it that it needs to be. Like a valid lat long for 
that address. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. But I kind of figured that it needs to go together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think uh, uh what we said like for a test environment, I, the, the, if we get rid of the test environment, would it be more realistic? I don't know. Oh, it's uh... test. I don't. Maybe. So, what do you want to say instead? I just say just just get rid of it. <laughs> You're just preparing some okay. real data to file, file taxes, you know, like, <laughs> no. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's oh, possible. No, no, this is good. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can do realization. Yeah. You, you could be right about it. Yeah, to collections, because... you know, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, it stopped. <laughs> it's waiting. Oh. oh. Maybe we've been hitting it too hard. Okay. Oh, New York, New York. Okay, still. Yay. Um, I think this is still. Yay. This is Ellis Island, I think, right? <laughs> we did this last time. Yeah, I think it's still the same. <laughs> still. This is a strange. It generated an English. I I don't I don't know if this is actually true or not, but <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know this Janey stuff. I guess I don't know. And this is weird too. Like, why did it take? Like, I'm not gonna go here, but like, why why did it reference this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they generate another one. Wait, what uh, was no, no. that? Is this all one block? Wait, is this the same? Yeah, this is all one block. It like and then and then just went and did it again. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Huh, that's weird. I hope this helps. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it repeats itself. Yeah. That was very weird. It's like a letter too. I hope this helps. <laughs> um, you guys well, no, JSON block. This is, I mean, this it always says something like this, right? Because it, it it's like it's uh -huh. trained on 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 being helpful. Helpful, yeah. Yeah, so it try it, it'll, it'll try to say something like this. I also kind of find it ha funny how like it always talks about like. Watch out for your API usage limits. <laughs> it's like people forget people forget about their API usage limits, so they. Have oh, because in our yeah, in our prompt, I guess maybe we are like, oh, you can use any API. Like, oh, like you know, watch out for the usage limits. <laughs> well, people are very concerned. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, do we want to try? Specifically saying that we want to provide a real address. Yeah, yeah, if I just Fill real all address. values with real data. Uh, so I just say like real data, real real ad and real and address, names real names, real addresses. Like that. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. San Francisco. Judging from the lot long, I think this is close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, it looks more realistic now. Yeah, well, let's try, let's try generating it again, just in case it was a mm -hmm. fluke, but there's so many flukes. Mm -hmm. Baker, random. <laughs> it matches Baker. <laughs> Baker. I don't think oh. I have JSON block this time. Yeah, serious now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting serious. Uh, Faker, if you have Come on, we want real. We don't want faker API. <laughs> LA. Is that LA? I think it, 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 it seems like it might be, yeah, relative to San Francisco. Let's 34. Get. I wonder where we are. It might be pretty close, right? Mm -hmm. And. Mm. Negative 118. I mean, I think it's in the right direction, so. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are we? Civic Center in oh, LA. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I yeah. mean, so, uh, yeah. This, we got the city too. We nailed the city. Yeah, you know that's actually super impressive, right? That it can get like mm -hmm. the lat, the long, the lat long for like a city. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, like, and it's not like. Right, like it's it's just like it just it can somehow figure out where it is. It just, or just it knows mm -hmm. from the training data. Yeah, so good. I, I I yeah, it must have been men maybe this is like mentioned a lot. I wonder if this is like a landmark in L.A. You know, like well, that's this is like basically center center city, right? Oh, yeah. it is just center city. It's not like a a special a famous building, is it? I don't know. I mean, are there famous no buildings idea. in Center City? Oh, what, what is this? I uh, know, maybe. What is it called? <laughs> West Hall? First Street and North Main Street? Yeah. Maybe it's like a courthouse or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, City Hall is here, right? And I don't know what this building is. Oh, no uh, idea. What's... Hmm. Oh. Main Street. Let's see. No, I don't know. Yeah. I think we did pretty well uh, with geography. Yeah. It, 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 it yeah. does surprisingly well with that, right? Like, I don't know mm -hmm. why I would know that. Mm -hmm. But you're right. It, it's yeah. probably something to do with their training data that it just, like, it just has all the lat longs, like. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, it's probably actually Wikipedia. Mm. Uh, because if you go to Wikipedia and you just, uh, and you just search for New York, yeah, New York City, and I think on the side, where is this? Oh no, it doesn't have it doesn't have a lot long on here. Oh, I thought it did. Oh no, it does. It does. It has mm. the coordinates here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I think that's why. I think because it reads like all of the Wikipedia pages, so that's how it knows all the coordinates. Mm -hmm. but, oh well. That's all good. Yeah. It's perfect. All right. Anyways, all right. So we're up to time. Um, what do you think? Do we oh. do we want to try and do more mock data next time? I think, yeah, I think people are interested in the relational bit, you know, like, uh, okay, if I can generate a block per person, but what about it's, you know, uh, the phone numbers, right? So the phone, each phone number would have like properties about the phone number. So I think people are interested, you know, about, you know, uh, the relational data. Right, right. Kind of like how yeah, with the, with that... the address, addresses, we want to make sure that everything is like made sense for that address. Yeah, yeah. We can we can say like, oh, generate like, you know, uh, like proper, you know, like 
more metadata for the address, you know, in a separate block or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. well, let's give that a try next yeah. time. See how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, next Wednesday. Right. Yeah. Next Wednesday. Next yeah. Wednesday. All right. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye.